If I had to choose between hot weather and cold weather, I would choose hot all the way. Maybe it's because I'm always cold, but this weather is, this weather is awesome. Right now I'm driving to go see Peter Tong from Dump and Roll. It's one of the local eats that I'm absolutely loving. You need to check him out. He is not only a phenomenal person, but his food is so good. He is really doing the casual, amped up eats and he's doing it right. And Peter's gonna tell us more about Dump and Roll and the concept for his food truck. First of all, before we get into it, I have to say your food is Thank you. And so Thank amazing. You very much. I had the truffle shoestring fries and also I believe it was a pizza roll. You had a margarita pizza roll? Margarita pizza roll. Phenomenal. I was transported to another galaxy. Really? Yes. That's awesome. I was I was so excited. So tell us more about the concept of dump and roll and why it's special to you. Dump and roll, why it's special to me. Uh, it's special to me because I'm not supposed to be alive, I think, but I am. So there must be a reason greater than my own. Um, but Dump and Roll is basically a food truck right now uh, that specializes in creating dumplings and spring rolls. Uh, we take the food you love, uh, make it really good, make it portable, and who doesn't love that? Yes. Um, but at the core... <laughs> but at the core of it, um, you know... There's nothing that uh, that we would really want to do more than to empower the generations of tomorrow, giving them the tools and the right connection and the right people for them to be the greatest potential overall of all of them. So with your business model, you're helping nonprofits. Like, who are the nonprofits that you're working with right now? Uh, well, right now we just work with one, this Magnum Foundation. Oh, nice. Um, we have to start somewhere small. It's, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah. basically we deal with kids in urban area that doesn't have enough resources, and we provide them with uh, currently as with, with coaching and training uh, for them to definitely uh, instead of spending time at home playing games or right. doing nothing, just around surround with people. And that's what I think we people need to do surround themselves with more great people to be great for themselves. Right, yeah, to mentor them, to inspire. No, I think it's all good. You have to check out Peter Tong and Dump and Roll. He is posting on his calendar and also check out his social media. I'll actually post it at the um, video the description down below so you can check out all the social media sites but I highly recommend it. I'm actually going to show you a little clip that we did last week. We were at the, yes. I met up with Peter at the Haddonfield Food Truck Festival, and awesome. it, was, it was a good time. It was a good time. It was really good, and I wanted to show you that clip right now. So here it is, cut. So look at this amazing deliciousness hey. that he, Say oh what? my God. Peter, you got to tell me what is, what is what here. So what we got right here is the sampler. That is, uh, right here is our mac and cheese egg roll. We got a margarita pizza. We got the far west to your right side, which is a tempura bacon cheeseburger wonton, assorted traditional dumpling and roasted garlic soy, and the best fries ever, smoked truffle fries. Oh my God, these are, I'm gonna go, ah, they're so good. They're so yummy, they're so yummy. I can't even tell you how yummy they are. God, just watching that clip again makes me so hungry for truffle fries. Hey, do you know about any local eats that I should go visit? Possibly one in the Philadelphia, South Jersey area? If you do, you need to tell me about it and put a comment below. I'd love to find out about local gems that are also given back to the community. I think that's a huge deal. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you know of any local spots doing this. And I'd love to check it out. Do you ever start driving and you just totally go on autopilot and then because you're thinking about something else and then you suddenly realize, oh wow, I'm pretty much at my destination. How did that even happen? Was a robot driving the car? Oh wait, that's uh, probably going to happen in the next five years. Driverless cars? I need one of those.